Hello friends, it's Sherry from Jewelry Crafts with Sherry. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm here today for Jewelry Making Fun Collab 2023, which is hosted by Dahlia Designs Jewelry and More, Deb Hauk. So yes, I <clears throat> we do this collab every month on the 18th of the month. And we have been doing this all year, so... And we did it last year, too. It was just 2022 last year. So, <clears throat> so um, this month, every month we have prompts. Deb gives us prompts, and we try to do something with our whatever we're going to make with those prompts. This month, being that it's uh, May this month, we uh, the prompts were the first one is a color. So the first one is bright yellow, orange, green, and red. <clears throat> and the second one is the second one is fruit themed so fruit <laughs> and the third one is gold or bronze findings okay so what did i do <laughs> so i have been working on over the last month i guess or so i've been working on using some of my beads and this wasn't for the collab but i have been having fun uh, using just I just you know they were sitting and I had used them but I wanted to use some up you know what I mean I'm kind of into using stuff up this year so I made some of these bead dangles and this one is really long it's 12 inches long but it is so pretty and I was the thing that surprised me about making these was I like the sound they make when the beads kind of clank together so you can hang I have it on a bulb pin these are hung on um, wax cord, and you can see how many beads I used up on these. I still have more to use up, of course, but I did use a lot, so that one's a long one. The, there's two more about this size, and some of these are glass beads. Some of them are plastic, like this one has little butterflies. So does the, let's see, the one I just, the long one has butterflies. See, like right here, little butterflies run there. One here, and then these little blue ones are glass. Uh, this one, I think, is glass, too. It feels pretty thick. And you can see how sparkly they are, too. I think they really turned out pretty. I just uh, pulled out some beads, you know, like that, and just, just you know, wasn't picky on colors. Just put them all together, and you can hear the color. And you can hang them. You know, I have another channel, and... On my other channel, I make journals and you do paper crafting. So I thought, you know, my thought was to hang these from a journal spine. You can, uh, sometimes I will put a little eyelet at the, on the spine of my journal. And so you could hang something like this from an eyelet. Or if you didn't have a particular place to hang it from, you can always add a paper clip. And then kind of paper clip it in onto the spine or into the pages and let it hang over your spine of your journal. But isn't that pretty? So the second two here are about... I think eight, eight inch, eight, eight inch, nine inch, nine inches long. Those are all, those three are in my shop and I have my shop on eBay now. So if you would, if you're interested, I'll have my, my eBay, uh, it's called Sherry's shop. <laughs> I have an actual shop there on eBay and, uh, so you can go, you know, look, click that link below. Okay, so, I'll, oh, these two are also in there. These are even smaller than the ones I just showed you. So these are about, what, five inches? <clears throat> Something like that. Five inches long. These also have some butterflies. And they're just so cute. I just wanted to try making smaller, you know, all different sizes. And I was making the really long ones. And I thought, let me make some smaller ones. So I made the nine inch, eight and nine inch ones. And I thought, well, let me make some smaller ones. And so I made these <laughs> right here. And I think they're all really cute and pretty. And sparkly and I love them so then along came the uh, you know the collab for this month so uh, like I said the colors are bright yellow orange and green and red so staying with those colors I thought I was looking through my beads trying to figure out what I wanted to do and I thought well let me make some more uh, you know I'm gonna I'm calling them bead dangles but um, with those colors so I found these these colors here in uh, these wooden beads that I have. Uh, these are beads, all these wooden beads I picked up at Dollar Tree and they come in, you know, little cellophane bags. So, you know, I had to 
you know, when I was organizing and things like that, I like to keep, if it comes in a bag like that, the beads, I put them in something like this little container from Dollar Tree. So I have, I have three containers of these wood beads. I kind of just separated them into shape and color. And they actually came, let me show you in this one, they actually came with this elastic string so you can make like a bracelet, I guess. So it's, it's pretty, it's nice, you know, it's nice, strong, elastic string. It's white. <clears throat> so I thought, well, let me just try making a bead dangle with that. Because like I said, I used wax cord for the other ones, but I don't, you know, I don't want to waste that elastic string. So that's what I used here. I just did it the same way as I did with the wax cord. Uh, wrap that wax or the elastic string around a bulb pin here or a garment pin, some people call them. And, uh, or, or some people call them a gourd pin. <laughs> There's, I've heard different, several different um, names, but I think they're actually called bulb, B-U-L-B pins, in case you haven't seen them before. And this is bronze, and that was one of the, the colors for the um, findings to use this month. So yeah, I used that stretch cord and just put some of those beads in here, staying with the colors. And then the other prompt was the fruit. So on the bottom of each of these, there's four strings here. And on the bottom each, of each one, I have a little fruit. So on this one, I have a pineapple, a cherry. These, these are little metal charms. And a, a glass of, um, it's a yellow glass with a straw. So I'm saying, what is in this glass? It's either a pina colada, lemonade, or pineapple juice. <laughs> That's my thoughts on the glass. So it's fruity. And then a strawberry. <clears throat> so, and it, again, it, they're wooden. They're a different material, but they still have a little sound. And, you know, you have the metal on the bottom. So, and you can hang this from whatever you want. Like I have a bead dangle here in my craft room. I have a ceiling fan with, you know, a chain. And I hung one with, uh, you know, just, you know, there's a thing on the end of the chain that you can pull on. But above that, I hung a little bead dangle that I have and uh, it adds a little decoration to my craft room and to my fan pole. <laughs> so lots of different places you could hang one of these. But uh, that's the one that I did to go with the colors and the prompts for this month. And here's my, see, th these are the charms. <clears throat> I wanted to show you this just for organizational purposes. These came in this little, this little container, so I kept them in there. I always like to show you a little bit of my organization during a video in case you are trying to figure out how to organize your craft room <laughs> because I know that sometimes that is a major thing. So the second one I did, I have, I was, as I was making the first one and I saw all these pretty colors that I wasn't using for the beads and so I thought well, I want to make another one using the colors that are not, you know, in the prompt this uh, this month, but I still wanted to use these little colors, so I made this one with, there were some pretty pinks in there, this purple or violet right here, and this pretty blue, a different blue than I used in the other one, and these purples. And there, there there's little hearts on in here too. Uh, let me see if I can show you up close some of the hearts. It also has that little clang, but um, this one has little like crystal looking hearts here. They're little plastic hearts but they are so cute and so pretty. I was like, let me let me make another one <clears throat> with those. So these two little wooden bead, bead dangles have four strands. The other ones with the, all of these have six strands. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so they all have six strands. These have four strands. I thought they were plenty chunky <clears throat> with the four strands. As you can see, they're pretty chunky. I don't know if, um, you know, because I, well, one thing is I put them all together. You see how I just strung them all together? I wanted to do that with this, uh, this elastic string. I didn't want to put knots in between and have them strung out. So that makes it chunkier. And see how on these I kind of strung them out? And I put, you know, like two and then two and then one and then one and then two or three, and then one and two, three, and you know, like that. So I kind of strung them out and put some string in between on these, which I think is also very pretty, and that's usually how I do it. But I wanted to do it different on here and just make it kind of like a chunky little 
uh, bead dangle here with these wood beads. So that's the one with the prompt. This is one without the prompt. This one I have uh, charms on three of them. One of them I don't because it's a little... Well, I, I, I was going to try not putting them on here, but then I, uh, I tied the knot and then I couldn't get the knot out to put another one on there. But this one's a little shorter too, so I figured it's okay to have one without a charm. But this one has the cherry, the apple... I didn't have the apple on the other one. I did. I haven't had a different cherry. There was two different cherries in these charms. These are a little bit, they're not big, but they're a little bit bigger than the one cherries on the other one. I'll show you again, but that's the cherry on this one, the apple, and this one also has a pineapple. And then this one has the hearts. This one doesn't have any hearts. It's all wood beads, but of all different, you know, shapes. So you can see the oblong, the square, kind of in the round beads on this one <clears throat> and here's the cherries on this one see how they're a little bit smaller that's not they're, they're barely different but they are different so I wanted to use one of each uh, so you get the picture but I don't know I might uh, save these for my journals you know to add to my journal some of my journals or I might pop them in my shop so the little ones are only five dollars each when I put them in my shop so you know it's just um you know, I make so many things that I can't keep everything. So I have to put pop things in my shop so I don't get overwhelmed here in my craft room. <laughs> you know how it is if you're a crafter. So anyway, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this month's prompts and what I did. And check out my description box because the other collaborators will be all listed there with their links to their channels. And everybody always does something di different. Excuse me, I'm catching my breath here. <laughs> And, um, yeah, everybody, everybody just does something different. So it is really fun to go and see what everyone does with the same prompts. It's so fun and uh, interesting. So, uh, yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know how you like these little, uh, you know, what I did this month. And, um, you know, I will see you on the next month. And my other channel links will be below also my my uh you know paper crafting and junk journaling channel and i actually have another channel which is called organizing and deals and right now i'm organizing my master bedroom closet i'm doing it in my own <clears throat> time and without spending any money so uh it's like i call it real life organizing <laughs> you know what i mean i'm just reorganizing or organizing i'm not buying any fancy containers or new closet system or anything like that so if you want to see some real life organizing and I love to organize so that's kind of why I started organizing on the that channel and uh, deals and once in a while I find a deal I'll bring it to you and uh, so yeah I'm having some fun over there too so check both of those out if you're interested and I would love a subscription from anyone that's free so it doesn't hurt to, to hit that little subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified of my videos. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, great week, a great weekend, and I'll see you later.